Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to talk about Loom and we're going to talk about OBS. Those are two of my favorite video tools that are out there. I mean, Loom is much more beginner friendly and you can edit your videos very easily. But OBS is much more customizable, but also you can't edit your videos. So it just depends on what kind of tutorial do you want to do. Okay, so this is the home page of Loom. Right now we're using Loom's free plan. And if you're using the free plan, you have the right to film 25 videos and you can earn more videos by inviting your teammates. If you want to upgrade your plan, if you want to download your videos, or if you want to use the Loom AI, which is a great tool, by the way, I'm going to show you in a second, you're going to have to pay a certain amount of money. In order to film a video on Loom, you can just click on record a video. Okay, so in this part, it should have been me, but right now I'm also filming a video. So my webcam isn't going to film two applications on the same time, but I'm going to sh show you something. Here we have the video settings. You can choose to show your screen and camera, or you can choose to show your screen only or your camera only. I'm going to choose screen only. As you can see, the webcam disappeared. You can use which microphone do you plan to use right now. In this video, I'm using an external microphone. It's in here. But if I want to use my microphone in my laptop, I can just click on default. As you can see in here, I can just click on this. In this video, I'm using an external webcam. But in Loom, I'm using a webcam that is in my laptop. So right now, I'm filming for two videos. <laughs> As you can see, there is a five minute limit on Loom if you are using the free plan. If you want to film a video for more than five minutes, you're going to have to pay a certain amount of money to Loom. So let's go to how to edit your videos on Loom. Okay, so this is one of those tutorial videos that I made on Loom. It's about automated market makers. It's a step-by-step -step guide on how to write a smart contract that is automated market maker. Crucial role in insurance. However, what if customer B isn't available at that moment? Okay, so now you film your video on Loom and you want to share it. Obviously, if you're using the free plan, you cannot download your video, sadly. But you can always share your link. As you can see in here, you can just click on copy link and just paste it to whomever you want to share your video to. And let's say that before you share your video, you want to edit. You want to split or trim the video. You can just click on edit. As you can see in here. Okay, so before I get into the editing sections, I want to talk about Loom AI. Loom AI is a great tool. If you are using the premium plan on Loom, be sure to use Loom AI. This is a great tool. I'm going to show you how great it is. Okay, I just filmed this video, but I didn't do anything about it more than just filming the video. Loom AI just wrote the summary for me and it's you know, accurate. And also, it wrote the chapters for me. As you can see, it's been generated by Loom AI. I mean, like I said, it's a beginner friendly tool and it's a really great advantage because, you know, Loom AI just writes my summary for me. And, I, and all I have to do is to just film my video. So let's say that I want to edit my video a little bit. I can just click on trim and stitch. Okay, as you can see in here, this is my video and these are the parts that I've edited out so let's say that I want to edit out the first five seconds of my video they play a crucial role in ensuring liquidity in the centralized exchanges okay I didn't really like that sentence so I'm gonna split it I can just click on split and voila this is how easy it is with editing on Loom. I can just save and exit or if I didn't, you know, like my editing, I can just revert the original, but I'm going to save and exit. Your changes were saved. That is how easy it is with Loom. Okay, so this is OBS. This is a much more customizable tool and it lets you download your videos. As you can see in here, Right now, I'm sharing my screen and this is my webcam. I'm using a filter right now to, you know, make me a circle. But if I want to show a certain 
and specific window I can just click on here and just click on the window that I want to show so this is the source section so it means that my webcam is on top of my screen and my screen is on top of the window that I want to show if I want to show my window I want to make it in here so I can just click on this as you can see right now I'm in OBS I'm not even seeing this screen seeing this window but in the video I'm showing this certain window and obviously OBS is much more than that it allows you to stream it allows you to record a video it allows you to pick a certain scene from your video there is a ton of tutorials on OBS and there's a ton of third-party ex extensions so if I want to you know blur my background I can just use a third-party extension of OBS so yeah these are two of my favorite video tools out there I mean Loom is a much more beginner friendly and it's really easy, easy to use but OBS lets you download the videos and it's also much more customizable if you wanna stream a video, if you wanna record a video, if you wanna download your video, if you wanna switch between scenes, if you wanna, you know, switch between the window that you want to. My advice for you is to just try these two apps and tinker with it a little bit. I mean, if you are not gonna publish your video, Zoom is a great tool. But if you wanna film a professional video, if you wanna stream a video, if you wanna show a certain video, if you wanna show a certain window on your video, then OBS is a great tool too. What I'm saying is, it just depends on what kind of content that you want to create. So we talked about how to edit your videos on Loom. But what happens when you download your video that, that you filmed on OBS? Or any other kind of video that is on your computer? What program are you planning to use? So in the next video, we're going to talk about CapCut, the most beginner-friendly video editing tool. So let's go.